Before getting started with this part, let's remember what we have done in the previous one. First, we rotated the model. If we didn't do that, the model would appear sideways in game. Then we have seen the basics of Metastat.txt file, which is responsible from our car's materials. We renamed all the body materials for sides to just body and exported the model in object 3D format. This made it easier to mess with UV mapping in this part. We also extracted our textures and fixed their names. We converted some of them to the right format, from the XT3 to the XT5 in our case. Then we fixed the texture with broken alpha channel. And finally, we compiled our new texture.bin file. Part 3 UV Mapping Open ZModeler and open the file we exported at the end of the previous part. If a dialog box pops up like this one, click yes. If you cannot see your model, click all the views once. Click show all from lower left and enable selected mod from lower right. From the left side menu, click select and all. Right click in any of the views. Then from the left side menu, click Surface, Mapping and Edit UV. Left click in any of the views. A dialog will appear, set it like you see on the screen and press OK. Now change any of the views with UV mapping, click the title and select UV mapping from there. Click the material button and select button. Leave the tools by selecting them from left side again. Let's zoom in a bit using our mouse wheel. You can also show or hide objects in UV Mapper View. Click the Object button to do that. Now let's find the debug texture to use for UV Mapping. Open Need for Speed Text Add. Now we need to find vinyls.bin for our car, or one that's close enough. Let's import it and find the debug texture in it. Now let's export this B2 into a safe place. Now return to ZModeler and open Materials View from the toolbar. Find the body material in the list. First, let's make it white if your Z model auto colored it. Just drag these three sliders in the basic parameters section all the way to the right. Scroll down to the texture layer section and click the first triple dot button. A dialog will appear. Let's add our debug texture here. Click Add and select your debug texture using the pop up. Make sure the texture is selected and click OK. Then click OK in Materials view as well. Now you will see the texture in UV Mapper and 3D views. As you can see, we need to remap it because EA decided to change mapping in Carbon. From the left side menu, click Select and All, then right click in UV Mapper view. Make sure that selected mode is still on. Now select Modify and Rotate, then left click while holding Shift in UV Mapper. Select minus 90 and click OK. Now we need to move and scale it to fit. First, let's leave the selections. Now change the editing mode to Edge from the toolbar. Click Select and All from the left side, then right click in left click in UV Map Preview. This mode will allow us to move parts separately. Let's leave the selection again. Now click Select and Quadrant. Right click and drag to make a selection. Now from the left side menu click modify and move. Left click and drag in the view to move your selection. We moved it there but we need to make it shorter and wider. We will use scale tool to do that. Brought it. Use the 3D view as a guide. Now click modify, scale from the left side menu. Left click and drag in UV Mapper view to scale our mapping. Now get to the move tool again.
now get to the scale tool again, but we will do something different. Disable wire from the toolbar, so we can scale our mapping horizontally. You can also leave it Y only to scale it vertically. If you have any troubles with the tools, just enable both of them from the toolbar and do enter again. Switch between move and scale tools and XY toggles until you get something satisfying. Let's speed up for a short while. Now let's leave the selection to make a new one. Click select none and right click in UV mapper view. Make your new selection using select quarter. I selected the left side here to match it with the mapping. Continue until you get something looks nice to your beautiful eyes. I speed it up again. Now it's time to remap our bumpers too. Let's start with the front one. Where did my bumper go? Looks like I did something wrong, so let's undo it by clicking the left facing arrow in the tool. Remember, if your tools work oddly, make sure that both X and Y are enabled in the tool. It worked correctly now, but I rotated it wrong. Let's make a 180. Now I will speed it up again, as I showed everything. Alright, we're finally done, let's save our work now. That's all for this part, thank you for watching. See ya, NLG out.